I'm gonna show you how to create an AutoCAD dynamic block window so you can work as efficiently as possible and we're starting right now. I'm the Lazy Architecto. Welcome to this video on a new series of AutoCAD blocks that save time. AutoCAD dynamic blocks contain rules and restrictions that control the appearance and behavior of a block. You can add these rules and controls to any new or existing block. So let's create your new dynamic block. First, you'll draw a rectangle using polyline command to represent a window at elevation view. Second, you use AutoCAD offset command. Type in 2 inches for the offset. Finally, select the window and use AutoCAD block command. Here, name your new dynamic block. You can name it dynamic elevation window. Make sure the following settings are checked and pick your block base point. Then, double click on block to access AutoCAD block editor. Now we can draw three single lines to represent window glass. I'll mirror these three lines using AutoCAD mirror command and you have your window block finished. Now this is just a normal AutoCAD block. How do I make a dynamic block from this block? You make a dynamic block adding parameters and actions and for this you'll need the block of thought in palette. If you don't see it on your screen you can find it on your ribbon, simply click on it to start using it. First, add visibility parameter by clicking on it and clicking again to place it next to your window block. Now, Go to your ribbon and click on visibility panel to start adding your new visibility states to your new dynamic block. Remember to have checked show all existing objects in new state and simply press OK. Now, a good habit when working with AutoCAD blocks inside Block Editor is to have them in layer 0 and with color by block. Now, use the linear parameter by picking two points on your block. So you just added two linear parameters, one for your block window width and another for your window height. Another good habit when working with dynamic blocks is to name your block parameters to avoid confusions in the future. So do it. But before, type PR to access property palette. Select your linear parameter and change the number of grips from 2 to only 1.
Now go ahead and rename your linear parameters. Now that we add parameters, it is time to add some actions. For this dynamic block window, you'll first need stretch action. So simply click on it, follow instructions on your command line, select your parameter to apply stretch action, then specify parameter point. Specify first corner of a stretch frame and opposite corner. Finally, select objects and press enter. Another good habit I want to share with you is always test your dynamic block whenever you add a new action. This is so important if you want to avoid issues in the future. So go ahead and click test block. As you can see, the stretching parameter in your dynamic block width works perfectly. Now you need to apply same stretch action to your window height. So click on close test block. By the way, this dynamic block exclamation mark means a parameter is missing an action. You'll see exclamation mark goes away after you add stretch action to your block window. If we use a driving car analogy, we can think of parameters as a key to start a car and actions as the shifter. You can start a car, but it would only start moving after using the shifter. Also, block exclamation mark would be a warning on your car dashboard representing a car telling, hey, you turned me on, but what do you want me to do now? So go ahead and add stretch action. Test your AutoCAD block now. As you can see, both of your stretch actions work perfectly. At this moment, your dynamic block window with one division is completed. So go ahead and select two divisions visibility now. Here, draw a two inches frame for your window block right in the center. Then use copy command to copy window glass marks. Now click both linear parameters and click on make visible on visibility panel on your ribbon. Time to test your AutoCAD dynamic block. As you can see, the center frame is not moving to keep center with the window block. So it is time for you to add a move action. Simply click on it, select your parameter, specify parameter point and finally select your objects to move and press enter. So go ahead and test your block now. As you can see, the center frame is moving now, but not the way you wish. This is because you need to change your dynamic block distance multiplier. So type PR to access property palette. 
select your move action icon and change distance multiplier to 0 0.5. Now go ahead and test your AutoCAD block again. As you can see, the center frame is moving perfectly now. However, stretch action for your window height still needs to be fixed. So right click on stretch action and select modify selection set. Click two points for stretch frame like so. And finally, select objects to add and press enter. So go ahead and test your dynamic block again. As you can see, your dynamic block window works perfectly. And we are almost done. We only need to do our three divisions visibility. So go ahead and select it. For this visibility state, Draw a line and use divide command to get two points where you place your window frames. If you don't see your points, use ddp type command. Now you can start drawing your 2 inches window frame. You can now erase line and points using erase command. Finally, copy glass marks to your new window. Now, it is time for you to apply move actions to your new window frames the same way you did before. The only difference would be that you'll have one third as distance multiplier for your first window frame. and 0 0.6667 for the second window frame since that is the result of 1 minus 0.3333 or one third. So go ahead and test your new dynamic block window. Awesome! Only stretch action for window height is missing now. So let's go ahead and do this. Time to test your dynamic block window for the last time. Perfect. So click on save block and close block editor.
You can now use your new AutoCAD dynamic block window. Awesome! Don't forget to give this video a like, share with your friends and click subscribe for less clicks and more done.